Okay, so a great challenge today, we have 8 times 8 divided by 8 times 8 and a lot of students might be saying, okay, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen, we can easily solve this, we have a basic multiplication, basic division, so I learned this stuff in the 4th grade, so I can easily solve it. So go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, we have three options, A, B and C, so let's test our school knowledge and put your option down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check our answers in the end of the video. So first of all I want to start with this first interpretation, because a lot of students solve this question like that, we have 8 times 8 divided by 8 and times 8. 8. So here is our challenge. And a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, we have the same expression right here, we have the same expression right here, so 8 right here times 8, and 8 times 8 right here, so 64 obviously on the left side, and obviously 64 on the right side. With this division in the middle, so we have 64 divided by 64, which is equal to which is equal to 1. And this is option B. So a lot of students solve this question like that, they say that this is a correct approach and they go to the next question. But in terms of mass, it's not like only in terms of mass. We should know what is the correct order, correct property, correct rule. It's not works only in mass, but it works in every science, okay? So we should know what is the correct order of operation in terms of mass, correct property, correct definition in other sciences. So in this question, let's look and let's remember about order of operation. Because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select, is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, because it's really weird to solve this question with two, two answers. It's really weird. So right now let's look, for example, at this PEMDAS order of operation. So this is the most popular order of operation in the world, and in this second interpretation let's solve this challenge according to PEMDAS order of operation. So 8 times 8 divided by 8 times 8. Eight. Okay, here's our challenge. And how does PMDMC work? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom, so the first step parentheses, next we should evaluate exponents, next we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step is addition and subtraction group. So right now let's scan what elements do we have in our challenge. We have multiplication, division, multiplication. So we have only multiplication right here, we have only division right here. Moreover, we don't have addition, we don't have subtraction, we don't have exponent, we don't have parentheses. Okay, so it's really great. Right now, what is the correct order to do this problem? Because right here we just solve this challenge randomly, which is really bad in terms of math. But what does, does PEMDAS tell us? How can we solve this challenge correctly? We should scan what is the first sign from left to right. Because we have one common group and according to this group, multiplication division have the same priority, okay? So right now we should scan what is the first sign from left to right. Here's our first sign from left to right, so we should divide, so we should multiply 8 times 8 which is equal to 64. So we have 64 right here, division by 8, and multiplication by 8. So right now, as you can see, we had the same step before, but right here we have completely different step right now, because we divide 64 divided by 8, because right now this is the first sign from left to right. So in this case, this one is first from left to right, in this case, this one is first from left to right, okay? So right here, 64 divided by um, 8 equal to, equal to 8. And with this multiplication, so we still have one multiplication by 8, so our answer is 64. And we have this, this is option, option C. And really interesting moment right now, because a lot of students confused, a lot of students arguing with each other, how can, how it happens, how we solve this challenge like that, with, uh, looks like a correct solution, both solutions are correct, but in this case, we have option B and option C. So which one is correct? Here's my explanation. If you look closely to this explanation, to this first interpretation, this is a very bad solution because we don't have parentheses. How can we jump from left to right? This is a really bad thing. This is a great solution for for a challenge if, the, if this challenge looks like that. So if your challenge looks like that, you can easily jump from left to right. You can easily multiply 8 times 8, so equal to 64. You can easily right here multiply 8 times 8, which is equal to which is equal to 64. Yes, so with parentheses, your correct answer is 1. And this is the most popular mistake. Everyone make this mistake, so forget about this. This is really bad solution in terms of mass. With parentheses, a great solution. Without parentheses, this is very weird and randomly solution. So the correct answer is this one. You can also check this answer in your scientific or graphing calculator, but don't use your regular calculator because you know sometimes happen that that type of calculators work with problems as you type it in. So, mm, 
Try to find a sophisticated calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem, where you can plug in the whole challenge, and then a calculator is smart enough enough to know about order of operation, and calculators uh, look at it and uh, they say, okay, multiplication, division, multiplication, so from left to right in a strict order from left to right. So our answer is C. I hope you understand this explanation, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these challenges, I have a lot of videos about pre-algebra concept, basic math challenges every day, so I hope you will enjoy it. So see you in the next videos and have a great day.